Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting logo design process video. In this video, I will take you through the entire logo design process from the very start. That how did the client approach me and how we set the pricing. Then we will continue with the phases of brand discovery, sketching, initial concepts, the phase of revisions, and lastly, I will guide you that how to create final files for the client. So first things first, how did the client approach me for the logo design service? As you all know that I upload logo design tutorial and process videos on my YouTube channel with each video containing my email address in the description. The client discovered my YouTube channel and after watching some of my videos he came to the conclusion that my design skills are worthy to design his brand's logo. Finally, he contacted me by using this email address. And this was the initial message. The client shared some details about his business that he is an independent public relations specialist. Then he shared his brand name, Primacy. But the main purpose of this message was to get a price estimation for the logo design. I simply responded to the client in these simple but professionally exaggerated words along with the price list. And this is the sample of price list. There are different packages and each package contains an upfront payment. Remember that once you are done on the pricing, you must have to inform the client that an upfront payment is required to proceed with the design process. I simply send the payment request on the client's email by using Payoneer. And once the upfront payment is made, I simply send this question ID to the client. These questions help us to extract as much information as possible. Information that can help us to design the perfect or near perfect logo design. The client took some time and finally provided me with these answers. The first one is brand name, which is primacy. And the second question is, what was the idea behind the name? Where did it come from? And the client says that primacy means the fact of being the most important person or thing. And that's my ultimate purpose with each client's brand and reputation. Then the next one is, do you have any color preference? And the client says that he want to use blue, green and magenta. And the fourth one is, do you like any existing logos? And the client says that he likes the Apple logo because of its simplicity, uniqueness, adaptability and resizability. And the fifth question is very important. Do you have any specific imagery or icons that you want to include or that you want to make sure not to include? And the client says that I like the hummingbird, origami, wings, movement. And he shared two samples of the hummingbird design. Then the next question is, what is the overall message you wish to portray with your brand? And the client says that you want to portray his brand as smart, thoughtful and simple. And the last question is, please provide any additional details or ideas about your dream logo. And the client shares crucial information, which is the hummingbird is the smallest on record. Not only their colors are mesmerizing, but they are also known for being peaceful and having outstanding flying and memory capabilities. And then the client says that I found an interesting connection between hummingbirds and the profession. Being peaceful for conflict resolution and meditation results in easygoing, thoughtful, simple and smart decisions. And this was very simple and to the point brief. The client clearly says that he is looking for a hummingbird design. So the two points that I extracted from this brief. First one, hummingbird design with or without the origami style. And second one is colors, blue, green, magenta. Now by keeping these points in mind, let's continue with the sketching process. Before starting the sketching process, let me give you an important message. If you are interested in gaining access to my comprehensive and in-depth logo design course, you can visit the link in the description. Additionally, you can also use the coupon code to get 25% discount. This course covers the topics of idea collection, detailed mind mapping, advanced techniques on how to effectively utilize artificial intelligence, and also how to craft a compelling logo story that convinces the client to believe that this specific logo is the best representation of their brand's personality vision and values. This course will help you to unlock your creative potential and also to elevate your logo design skills. Now let's return to our video and continue with the sketching process.
and we are done with the sketching process. These are not very good sketches but will help us a lot once refined. I like these three concepts because of their simplistic and geometric visual. I also like this one as it also incorporates the initial letter P. But unfortunately this one looks like a sparrow instead of a hummingbird. Now let's take a picture of these sketches and import it into our PC. In the next step we will convert our rough sketches into digital designs. So let's switch to Adobe Illustrator. First of all in Adobe Illustrator go to file select new. Then select the units to pixels, select the width to 1920 and height to 1080 pixels. Then select ok. If your illustrator preview isn't appearing like this then go to this menu and select essentials classic. Now we will place our logo sketches on this artboard. So go to file and select place. Select the destination where you have saved your image and simply select it. Then click once at this top corner. Then reduce the value of opacity to 25%. Then go to windows, select layers. Then click on this drop down menu, select this image layer and click on this blank space to lock it. Now first of all we will vectorize this sketch. Simply press Z and zoom in this area. Then select the pen tool and simply follow the geometry of the shape. We doesn't need the fill color. So select the selection tool, click once at this shape, then click on this menu and select this cross icon. And assign it a stroke color like this orange color. Now again select the pen tool and continue the process. Now simply select the selection tool, select all of these shapes and select the value of stroke to 10 points. Then select only this shape, then click on this stroke and from the corner select bevel join. Then again select all of these shapes, go to object, select path and select outline stroke. Then go to windows, then select pathfinder, select unite. Now simply press Z and zoom in this area. Then select the direct selection tool, select only this anchor point and drag it like this. Now reset the page view by pressing Ctrl plus 0. Again press Z and zoom in this beak area. Select the pen tool and draw a shape like this one. Then select the direct selection tool and adjust these anchor points. Now select the ellipse tool and draw this eye by holding down the shift key. Again reset the page view by pressing ctrl plus 0. Next we will vectorize this sketch. Simply press Z and zoom in this area. Now select the pen tool and simply follow the geometry of this sketch. To complete the shape simply press enter. Now we doesn't need the fill color, so select the selection tool, select this shape, go to this color menu and select this cross icon and assign it a stroke color like this orange color. Again select the pen tool and continue the process. Now select this anchor point and click on this icon which says convert selected anchor points to smooth. And then simply play with these handles. Now select the selection tool, select all of these shapes and select the value of stroke to 10 points. Then click on this stroke and select bevel join. Simply adjust this anchor point then go to object, select path and select outline stroke. Also for this one, again go to object, select path and select outline stroke. Then select all of these shapes, go to windows, select pathfinder and select unite. Then select only this anchor point and drag it like this. 
Then select the ellipse tool and draw a circle by holding down the shift key. Now simply reset the page view by pressing Ctrl plus 0. And now let's design this sketch. Press Z and zoom in this area. Select the pen tool and follow the geometry of this sketch. Again, we doesn't need this fill color. So select the selection tool, click on this shape, then go to this color menu and select this cross icon and apply it a stroke color like this orange color. Again, select the pen tool and continue the process. And now we will apply these colors. Simply hold down the shift key, select this shape, this one, and also this one. Then select the eyedropper tool and select this color. Again, select the selection tool, deselect the shapes. Again, hold down the shift key, select this one, this one, and this one. Again, select the eyedropper tool and this time apply this color. Now reset the page view by pressing Ctrl plus 0. Now we doesn't need this reference sketch. So simply go to windows, select layers and simply hide this image layer. Now simply select this design and for this one we will simply apply this green color. And for this one we will apply this blue color. And now it's time to write the logo name. So simply select the text tool, left click and write the logo name which is primacy. Now to make a copy, simply hold down the alternate key and drag it like this. Again select the text tool and this time write the letters in lowercase. After making some adjustments and modifications, I sent these initial concepts to the client. This was my personal favorite design because of its simplistic geometric and origami style visuals. In the first phase of revisions, the client asked for changes in typography along with color changes around these colors. Then I provided these updated designs with changes in color and font. And in the second phase of revision, the client selected this icon for further modifications along with this font. The name of this font is Work Sans Semi Bold. Then I presented these designs with the color changes I also did small adjustments in the big design with a minor change in letter A. After making some further adjustments, finally this was the winning design. And now I will guide you at how to prepare final files for the client. We will save the final files in these formats. AI is an editable source file that can only be used in Adobe Illustrator. SVG is also an editable source file that can be edited in multiple softwares like Adobe Illustrator, Inkscape, CorelDRAW, Affinity Designer, etc. EPS is a vector file that is mostly used for printing purposes. And PDF is document file. We can easily open this file in personal computers and also in smartphones by using any PDF reader. Then the next one is PNG. This one is an image but a transparent image. And lastly we have JPG. This one also is an image format but it has a solid background. And now let's save the final files. Simply go to file and select save as. And then create a folder with the name primacy logo files. Simply select this folder and here we have the option for the format selection. Simply select AI format and name the file as source1. Press enter then select OK. Again go to file, select save as and this time select the format to SVG. Name the file source2, press enter and make sure to select the image location to embed and select OK. Then again go to file, select save as, this time select the format to EPS. Name the file as vector, press enter and select OK. Again go to file, select save as and this time select the format to PDF and name the file as document and simply select save PDF.
and now we will save the images there are two types of images first one that covers the whole artboard and the second one that covers only this design so first of all we will save the images that covers this whole artboard so go to file then go to export and select export for screens select on this artboards from the format simply select png and select export artboard it automatically creates a folder with the name 1x simply open this folder and here we have the image now cancel it and now this time we will save the image in jpg format simply go to file then select export export for screens and this time select the format to jpg with 100% quality and select export artboard again the image is saved in 1x folder simply cancel it this time we will save the image that covers only this design again go to file select export this time select export as simply select this 1x folder and name anything for the file let's say we name 01 select the resolution to 300 ppi and select ok if you want to save only this icon then simply go to file select export selection from the format select png and select export asset and the image will be saved in 1x folder now this 1x folder contains the images so simply rename it as images and to send the final files to the client simply go to the main folder right click and select add to archive here you can change the name for the file and here we have the option for the formats i usually prefer zip format then select ok now we can simply send this zip file to the client finally we are done i hope you enjoyed today's logo design process video consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more awesome content thank you very much for your time and have a nice day